What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. I am so excited that you're here today because we're going to be talking about the Mavic 3 leaks that have been happening over the past couple of weeks, particularly those that happened over this past weekend, September 25th and the 26th, because we have actual pictures of the Mavic 3 drone. It's not hypothetical anymore. It's not pen to paper. It's not a spec sheet. It's not a rendering. This is a real drone in the world. Like it's, it's physical, it's real, it's operable. Everything about it is legit and we have photos of it. It's exciting because this all but confirms that the Mavic 3 is coming soon. We have some speculation on when that might be. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Right now, what we're gonna be talking about are the images that have been leaked most recently over the weekend by Jasper Ellens 27 Leaks. Again, I've gotten all of my information from Jasper Ellens 27 Leaks, so do me a favor, do them a favor, because again, this video is not possible without the information they've been sharing on their Twitter feed. Go give them a follow on Twitter and give their posts some likes on Twitter if you're on Twitter. It would help them out a lot, and I know they would appreciate it, especially especially since they're doing all this work to get this information and then leak it to the public. So big thank you to Jasper Ellen's 27 leaks. This video would certainly not be possible without you. This is not sponsored. So I have a few collections of images here that I want to share with you in a segmented form. The first thing that we're gonna be talking about is the combo spreadsheet. We have three different combinations of Mavic 3 packages that you can purchase them with. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Now, this spreadsheet is really cumbersome. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing. It would just be extremely boring, but it looks like we're gonna get three packages with the DJI Mavic 3. We're gonna get the standard package that comes with the drone, the standard remote controller, one battery, propellers, cables, and all of the other accessories that you get with the base package of a DJI drone. Of course, there's the Fly More combo, which comes with all of that, but the exceptions are three batteries instead of just one, a battery charging hub for all three batteries, a carrying case, extra propellers, and ND filters, among other things. This last one is the one that really Really has me curious though, the Cine Premium combo. Now it looks like this is going to include the smart controller as well as additional ND filters with a higher level of stoppage. So that's the first thing that stands out to me. The other thing is if you take a look at the first two rows under the headers on this spreadsheet, it looks like the Cine Premium combo comes with a different version of the Mavic 3. Now I may be way off base here, I may be reading into this too much, but there are two specific rows, one for the DJI Mavic 3 and one for the DJI Mavic 3 Cine. So what does this mean? Does this mean that one drone will have the SD card slot and allow us to just shoot in 4K onto an SD card that we can then pop out and pop into our machine real quick? And does the other drone have that internal solid state drive, that one to two terabytes of internal storage that can write Apple ProRes and 5.2K files to it? I don't know, but it looks like there is potential for there to be two technically different versions of the Mavic 3 as per this combo spec sheet. Very interesting stuff. Now, as interesting as that is, it's only gonna get more interesting because now I'm gonna tease you a little bit more before we get to the actual photos of the Mavic 3 with pictures of the packaging. Now, why would I share this? It's not really all that exciting, but there are a few things that we can pick out from the pictures on the packaging that tell us a little bit more about the Mavic 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So at first glance, it gives us a really good look at the new drone. You'll see that it sits up slightly on its front arms or legs, whichever you prefer, I prefer arms, much like the Inspire. So could they function the same way as the Inspire? That's doubtful. And what I mean by function the same way is when you set the Inspire down on the ground before you launch it, the legs are sort of pushing the body upward in that classic upside down V pattern that you see with the Inspire drones. And then when you lift off, the legs actually lift up to allow the camera underneath to spin 360 degrees without getting any of the legs or the landing gear in the footage. And it gives it that more classic right side up V shape that the Inspire drones have. I don't think that the Mavic 3 is going to have that same functionality in the arms. The reason being, and we'll see this more in just a few minutes, is that there have been no indications on any of the renderings, the drawings, 
and even the photos that we're about to take a look at, that there will be any type of functionality that way for the Mavic 3. I also think it'd be really complex to scale it down to the size of a Mavic 3. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there's a way, but it also seems silly when really the main draw to the Mavic line of drones is how functionally portable they are. You can take them just about anywhere. The next thing we'll notice on the packaging is that the drone has gone from a light gray to more of like a hardcore gunmetal gray. This gives it a really sort of cool, edgy, maybe even intimidating look. And I don't know about you, but I've always tried to find a way to zazz up my drones a little bit. I like to add decals or something like that. Professional, tasteful, but gives them a little bit more personality. In this case, I don't know that that's gonna be abundantly necessary in my opinion, because this gunmetal gray look is really freaking cool. I'm all about it. And even though it's a very minor change, it's something I'm pretty excited about. The last thing is you'll see that there have been slight changes to the air intake. We've already talked about the sensors and even the propellers are slightly different than they have been in previous versions. What I mean by the air intake before we move on is that you'll see they've at least added an air intake to the front of the drone. They may have moved that from the sides of the drone that we saw in the Mavic 2 Pro and the undersides as well, or they may have just added it as well for additional cooling, especially if this drone is going to be processing 5.2K footage. It may be necessary to keep it at a cool enough temperature that it can operate safely. The last thing that we're gonna talk about for these leaks is the actual photos. This is really exciting, guys. I can't really express to you how excited I am because we're no longer talking in theory, hypothetically. We're not talking about a drone that doesn't exist anymore. There is at least a prototype that physically exists that somebody can hold in their hands and it's being tested right now. There are photos of it in the field being tested, just sitting on desks. There's all sorts of different photos that have leaked out and the fact that we can actually see a tangible, physical drone sitting on somebody's desk or being used out in the field means that we are very close to a new Mavic being released by DJI. So without further ado, I'm just going to show these as we go and as we talk more and more about them. I'll try to keep the picture that's up relevant to what I'm saying, but I'm just going to let them cycle through a few times so that you can get a good look at all of the different pictures. Here we go. Photos of the DJI Mavic 3 courtesy of Jasper Ellen's 27 leaks now. Wow. I cannot express to you how exciting this is to see these photos. So a few things you'll notice from the pictures of this drone are, again, the sensors have moved around a little bit. In the Air 2S, they had the top sensors on the front. It looks like they're moving them back for the Mavic 3 as they did in the Mavic 2. All those upward obstacle avoidance sensors on the Mavic 3 are now on the rear of the drone. So that's one change we can see at face value. It looks like they still have the foldable design for portability. You'll notice in the pictures that have close-ups of the arms that there is no indication that there's gonna be any maneuverability or functionality for an Inspire style landing gear in the Mavic 3. It looks pretty rigid and it looks like the only direction that these arms can move is to fold up as they have in the past on the Mavic 2 and the Mavic 1. The next thing that you're gonna notice as we roll through these pictures is that there's a back plug-in. Again, this gives credence to the idea that we are going to have exclusively internal storage on the Mavic 3. I don't think this is a battery charger because it's been made very clear that the battery will be inserted into the back of the drone. Could you still charge it? If we cite examples like the Mavic Mini, you can have the, dr the battery in the drone, plug the drone in and charge the battery through the drone's hardware. I, I don't necessarily think that we're gonna see that here with the Mavic 3. I, I think this is without a doubt the actual internal storage plug that you're gonna to use to access the video files and the photo files that you capture on your drone. That's what I think this is. I could be wrong, but all signs point to internal storage only for the Mavic 3. The last thing that you may have seen as we're cycling through these photos is a new controller. Now, I just wanna mention this very briefly because there hasn't been a clear picture of the controller in use or just sitting around. It's been folded up in a bag next to the drone, the picture that we have. But you can see the top of the controller, you can see the antenna on the top of it. And I think that this is a good indicator that we are getting a new smart controller for the DJI Mavic 3. Again, only time will tell on that. This is all the information we have at this point, but still super exciting stuff to see that the smart controller is being tested along with the Mavic 3. And the last bit of information I have to share with you, the Mavic 3 is rumored to be dropped 
at the end of November, which would mean right before the holiday season when all of the holiday shopping is taking place, this makes sense. And it's not the first time DJI has dropped a drone right before Christmas. If you remember, a lot of previous models have been dropped in late November, early December. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is an accurate estimation as to when this drone will come out, especially since we see there is a physical copy of the drone being tested right now. That means that they may not be ready to mass produce, but they at least have the pieces in place to produce one model at a time. That just means that all they have to do is scale it up. DJI's got that figured out at this point. They know how to scale their production and it will happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see the drone sometime in late November. There have been speculations that maybe we could see it in mid-November, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. They'd be better suited from a business standpoint to wait until the holiday season rolls around when all of the holiday shopping starts up around Black Friday, because that's when people are gonna have money saved. That's when they're gonna be ready to buy these things and they're gonna be more willing to buy these things for their loved ones. But what do you think? Are you gonna run out and buy the Mavic 3 as soon as it drops? I might, I haven't decided yet. There are some things that I'm still considering, but the drone overall looks really impressive. Now, again, I say really impressive, and I think that's just excitement. Overall, when you compare it to the Mavic 2, we definitely see some upgrades, for sure. There's no doubt that this is a step up from the Mavic 2 but is it worth a purchase? Is it that big of a step up that we shouldn't just tough it out for another two or three years with the Mavic 2 and wait until the Mavic 4 drops or the Phantom 5 or whatever next drone DJI is going to release? I don't know. I don't have the answers for you on that one. All I know is I'm still putting some thought into this one and it's not guaranteed I'm gonna go out and drop the money on the Mavic 3. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you plan on doing? What do you think of this drone? What do you think of the pictures? What do you think of all the leaks happening for the Mavic 3? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you really liked this video, hit that thumbs up button as well. It helps me out a lot. And it helps get this video out into the algorithm on YouTube so that more drone people can see it and weigh in and create an area and an atmosphere for constructive conversation about this drone, if such a thing exists on YouTube anyway. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you loved this video and you love drone content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I do tons of drone content on this channel. I share content I capture with my drones. I share content about drones. And I talk to creators in the drone industry and people that use drones every single day for their career. So if you love drones, this is the place to find drone content. Hit that subscribe button. This is your second reminder to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, I'm Chris the Drone Geek and I am out of here.